Well, here we go. Final race of the season. Final SOF. Final overall for me, at least. Starting second, which I'm pretty pleased with. I thought some of these other guys would have beat my qualifying time, but uh, I guess I got a little bit lucky. And I'm starting on the front row. Yeah, I mean, the uh, first race went relatively well. I, I don't see why this one wouldn't be any different. I'm gonna have to uh, look to the right to see when he goes on the start here. Or just start behind him. Very, very strong field again for this race. A lot of guys that could beat me. I'm sure that some of them will get past me despite my, uh, well, because of my lack of experience here. Alright, so here we go. Get ready. Final I don't race. Pass the one car. Here we go. The pace car is in. Green, green, green. Try not to beat into the line. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess I did. I really didn't mean to, uh... get a start like that, but, uh... I kinda just didn't cut that... corner right, off. Right. Now I'm gonna get... I'm gonna give it back to him. I didn't think that was really fair. They left. We're on the right. I'm not... gonna easily give up second. I did actually pass him at the start there, but whatever. And I realized too late to uh, defend that he was passing me. And I was getting drafted behind and on the side, so whatever. It'll probably be the only time I get past uh, Patrick in the entire season. Really gotta use up more of the track right here than I did in the last race. Able to stay tucked up closer to him than uh, the leader in the last race. We got some real close racing right now. Oh, Almost got loose there. Almost really uh, screwed that up. Everybody's going off track now. <laughs> Next car is the leader. I'm using up all the track right now.
And now with that last race results, I'm only uh, 10 points off of 7th uh, in the championship. So if I hang on to this spot, I might actually nab it away. From whoever's in 7th now. I have no idea what the SOF is for this race, but I figure it's got to be higher than the last one if I'm car number three in this race and I was number two in the last. And I mean, just, uh, it's... Just because it's not for the championship doesn't mean I shouldn't go for it. Auntie, I think, is uh, running real close behind me. I had to break real hard there. I think I go in into the uh, hairpin there a little deeper than some of these other guys. That could work either uh, for me or against me. Patrick is breaking really early at some of these corners, earlier than I am. Looks like the, uh, we got a, uh, top three breakaway here. Holy cow, I did a 46.6. You must have done the same, Michael. Pop out of gear there. I don't think he was talking to uh, me. I think he was talking to the other Michael. I mean, obviously the draft helps, but I'm running closer to him than I ever have before in this series. I mean, short of maybe Road America, this is the most competitive I've ever been this season. to use up all the track there get the best run out of the, onto this kinked straight away that 45 4 I just did in the land That 45.4 is actually faster than my uh, qualifying lap by a little bit. That's how much the draft helps.
Well, now he's uh, being able to uh, break away from me a bit more. Still not sure if I should really be using uh, second gear here. Funny how I got passed in the same spot on the draft on um, Kimmel Street for the lead in both races. I don't know, do you think that was a bad idea to uh, just gun it at the start there? Is that unsportsmanlike. I tried to give it up. I tried to give it back to him, but uh, I guess I was just carrying in too much speed. I didn't slow down enough, and he let me have it in O-Road, and I gave it back at the uh, on the straightaway when he drafted past me. Now we're uh, breaking at almost the same time in every corner. Ugh. You know, I have no rear toe in this car, or front toe for that matter, so sometimes, uh, it's going to be a bit go with the line. less stable coming out of the corners, and that could happen. And I did that so I could get the uh, absolute maximum straightaway speed. Drifting a bit to the corner there. Getting a little, uh, antsy right now. The back end of the car just wants to step out right now. Now that I am uh, not really in Patrick's draft anymore, I expect him to just kind of walk away from me. Unless he makes a mistake, which uh, there's still a long time left to go and anything could happen. So who knows? Keep going, Michael. I mean, I. I you had way too good a run on me there. I mean, when it comes to these races and this level of quality driving, you know, 
I can't keep up with them forever. I'm not that good of a driver, to be honest. I mean, guys like Patrick, I think, could probably be in DWC if they wanted to. I doubt I could. That's the difference between drivers like him and drivers like me. Not saying that they will join DWC, but I think if they wanted to, they could probably make it. Anybody in the top three or four in the championship in this class could probably do it if they learned the setups well enough. Because it's obvious, the best... In this class, the best driver is going to take everything home. Not the setup guy, not the uh, guy gets, that gets lucky. The, it, it's really mostly about the driver. That's why I love this series, because it's more about pure driving than some of the other series. Now I'm slowing down to, uh, Auntie in third. So we're still <laughs> eight seconds ahead of fourth, so I think as long as I don't make any mistakes, we have at least third wrapped up. really need to uh, turn the wheel less in that corner so I don't uh, have to start counter-steering the other way just to save the car. And of course, this track is notably difficult on my on PCs my uh or computers in general. <laughs> yeah, my computer is uh chugging a bit in some of these areas on this track. Down to uh, 59 FPS in some areas. No biggie. I mean, I raced with 59 FPS for a while on my old computer. Locked at 50, 59 FPS, even. So, it's certainly drivable to me. I did actually try out Open Broadcaster software. I might switch to that because I noticed there was almost like no drop in frames c compared to a uh, Fraps, which I use now, which, well, the difference is pretty clear. I should, normally I get at least uh, 130 FPS no matter what's going on here, but Obviously, in every race you've seen so far, it's 90 or lower. In the 60 to 90 range, or rather 59 to 90 range. It's 
Patrick pulls further and further away. Now that the draft is not doing anything for me. <laughs> See, uh, Patrick hops the curb there. I'm amazed I'm still doing 46s, to be honest. I definitely thought I would be down to the 47s by now. You know, tires starting to uh, really wear out. Driver starting to wear out. to be quite honest with you. No oh boy, if I'm wearing out now, you guys are in for a, a treat next week. Which I will announce after the uh, race is over. I mean, it would, be, it would be great if I could just finish up with another strong second place finish in this race. Maybe get a few extra points. Wrap up another position in the championship. Did I actually <laughs> catch Patrick a little bit there? I think so. Man. Understeer City, holy crap. Never have to turn the wheel that much. Lose it at right along. thing is just dancing all over today. I was actually curious about the tires on this car that they would use in real life. Look up the uh, BF Goodrich um, G-Force R1. I believe that's the tire that is supposed to be on these cars in real life. 
You'll see, it's not really a, a street tire. It has like a couple of ribs and... But the majority of the tread is actually a slick tire. And supposedly it just barely passes the Department of uh, Transportation regulations as a street tire. Very interesting tire choice, I'd say. What the hell? I just, uh... The game froze for a second. Well, for like a, a split second. Still going, though. Come on, computer, don't fail me now. I think it did that in the other race too, actually, but I, I didn't, I didn't comment on it. it only, it's only done that here. Not at any other track I've tried. But I, mean, I have to go with the line. This track within iRacing is notoriously hard on systems, so... Who knows, I mean... My computer could just be barely chugging along. Certainly doesn't say any signs of it, though. Doesn't show any signs of it, I mean... I guess... that would be the proper word. Not say. Sliding a bit. I wonder if those guys uh, said anything to me in the chat about that start and I didn't hear it, because, you know, uh, I hadn't yet unmuted my voice, so I wouldn't have heard if they said anything. I mean, I did give it back to him because he drafted around me, but still. Not normally the way I'd start. I'd never intentionally try to jump the start. At least on iRacing. <laughs> Arcade games is a different story, though. Or even offline sims, and there it goes again. The freaking computer freezing. Come on, don't fail me now, computer. Let's go. I haven't had a failure from you all season. Don't do it to me now. Well, I don't think I can catch Patrick, but I can definitely hold off Auntie for a second. I don't think I hit the uh, clutch all the way there on that downshift. Not like you need to. Just uh, noting that.
You have about five laps left on fuel. Well, we only got three and a half to go, so should be fine. Surprised there wasn't a bigger uh, turnout. I thought this was a pretty popular track, but I guess not. It's merely average as far as the turnout goes. Maybe a lot of people don't like it because of the uh, the situation with the off tracks. That wouldn't stop me from racing it, though. I mean, I'm here. I'm racing. That kind of thing doesn't bother me. Because I don't usually get a ton of off-tracks to begin with. And I'm usually not fast enough for it to make a difference, so... Yeah, I just say... Don't go off-track! <laughs> And I would never, like, oppose a race because I didn't like the track or, or I didn't like the weather settings. Like, I heard in the, uh, well, I read in the uh, discussion for some league race about HPD and F1 guys complaining that they can't drive over in... Oh, they can't drive in over seven mile an hour winds because oh, the car doesn't the car doesn't react the same. It pushes in a tailwind. Well, that's what it, that's what real cars do too. And granted, we don't have like traction control or ABS in I race, but you know the real drivers got to deal with it too. Yeah, I would never shy away from a race because I don't like the track. Everybody's got to race the same track and the same weather conditions. So just suck it up and race. And that was the whole goal of me running this series. Run every week. Half of the tracks that I ran this season, and I had like no experience on. This one included. Road America, I had no experience, and well, I already mentioned this track. Sebring, I had, like, no experience. Montreal, I had no experience. I literally no experience there. I'd never even r loaded up the track. I don't think. To me, if, uh... If there's a race somewhere, I'll run it. That's my philosophy. Oh. Now that said, this is only like my third full season in any series in I racing. Because I used to be that guy, but. Now I like the idea of running a full championship season. And sticking to it and learning the car and everything that entails with that process, I mean. It's very rewarding, I think. To do that, then just like go... Just go the classic video game route and go, Oh, here, 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 these cars are running this week here, and... I'll run this car this week, and that car, and... Yeah, I'm kind of just <laughs> rambling now. Rambling about absolutely nothing important. I almost missed the shift there. Two laps to go. Two laps left to go in the season. And the more things change, the more things stay the same. Oh, 
most competitive all season. Most competitive car all season. Still can't catch Patrick for shit. shame it took me eight weeks to uh, learn about the uh, the rear ride height that it wasn't uh, the minimum wasn't four and a half inches it was four inches that could have really helped me out at a couple of tracks get a little more straightaway speed Looks like Auntie fell a bit behind. Really, though, it's a shame it took me, uh, eight weeks just to, uh, or really ten weeks just to, uh, get a little more speed in the car and my, uh, driving ability. I think I improved a little bit as a driver, but I learned a few things, but ultimately, uh, there was no major improvement in my driving ability over the season. Alright man, wipe flag at the line. Final lap of the season. Let's uh, protect second. That was the best I've, uh, done this corner all race. The car didn't start sliding to the right before the corner entry there that time. You have about two laps of fuel left. Yep, not much more left now. I gotta say, <laughs> I've run out of things to say. Well, overall, it was a good season. I'm glad I uh, ran this. You know, it's the first time I ever actually ran a uh, full eight-week season in well, on the roadside, anyway. Of course, I ran two uh, full oval seasons before. And I'm glad I started doing this commentary thing. I really enjoy it. And I'm really excited for, uh, 2014. The 2014 season, anyway. I know it's 2014 now, but... As far as iRacing goes, it's still... 2013 season 4, at least for a few thousand more feet. For me, anyway. There we go. 
second place in the final Mustang Challenge race. There we go. There's the flag, man. It's over. What a season. There you go, man. Good job, driver. Oh, man, well... Oh, I'm sad the season's awesome over. Race again, Michael. I'm sad the season's over. It's been fun. But I think it's time to move on to bigger and better things. And at the start of the season, which is next week, we have no off season here. We're going to be doing the Road Warrior series and the NASCAR iRacing series full time. Maybe the Road Warriors full time too. Yeah, nice job, everybody. That was a lot of fun. That's a long race. <laughs> oh, man. Me too, Michael. We're obviously just so evenly matched. Whoever's behind has got the advantage. I gotta say, guys, if you want to join this series. I cracked under the pressure. If you want to join the series, uh, these guys could really use the attendance numbers right now. They actually had the first um, attendance increase in like five seasons this season. So, I mean... I mean... Oh, I'm out of words. <laughs> But yeah, these guys, they have, there's a great little community here. They're very helpful if you want to get started running this series, if you're not already running this series. So yeah, I mean, consider it if uh, it's a great starting point, especially if you're n new to uh, eye racing and you just got your class D road license so uh, consider it but next week we start with one of the most prestigious races all season on eye racing it's the 2.4 hours of Daytona it's the first race of, of the 2014 season I'm gonna be running the uh, roof C spec in that race it's going to be the first official race for that car. First official Road Warrior Series race. I can't wait to be a part of that race and a part of that series. And then in a few weeks, right after that, we're going to uh, start off with the uh, NASCAR iRacing Series with the fall length Daytona 500, maybe even uh, streamed on Twitch. And if that comes to fruition, there will be more info about that soon. So yeah, great season. I would definitely consider running it again. Well, that's really it. I mean, uh, stay tuned. If you haven't already uh, subscribed to me and you like the videos, please do so. I would really appreciate it. Let's, uh... Get this out there. Let's, uh... Really set off the popularity of this. And I think I can do that if I run the, uh... Road Warriors and, uh... NASCAR iRacing series. The race is over. And you know what? Those races are gonna be a lot more competitive. Gonna be a lot more people running it. I think... And not to mention that, I think you're gonna get a lot more attention than the, uh, than this series. Because, let's face it, this isn't a very popular series. This hasn't been a very popular, uh, thing that I've been doing here, but I love to do it. I love to do it, that's why I did it. I wouldn't not do it. I would definitely do it again, alright? Alright, so the rambling session is over. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.